Alright, people, we are back. And we are down to the, the actual RJ TIG board itself. Uh, I'm going to get this wired in now. <coughs> uh, for wiring in the RJ TIG board, we're going to just go ahead and rest it sitting right on top of here for now. Uh, when it's all said and done, there's it's, it's kind of a bigger board, so it's not like the old ones where there was some place you could stick it, like right here. Uh, it just doesn't pan out on this one. It's, it's a little bit too big. I mean, you may still be able to get by with sticking it here, but I think the problem is the wires interfere with the DVD drive hookup. Um, can't be real certain. I'll look into that when I get to that point of finalizing the install. But for the time being, we're just going to stick it right here. Um, you don't have to use your sticky pad. I already put mine on the bottom of it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use part of the sticky pad. Just so that it doesn't move around on me while I'm soldering. Like so. Alright. Now, coming a little bit tighter here. We have our pre assorted wire package. Get that all undone. With this, we got a brown wire, a black, which is obviously our ground, a red, obviously our power, we got a green, there's our orange, green, and a blue. Alright, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and prep all these pads. We've got the 5 volt, the ground, we're going to apply some flux paste to them. Let me get this centered up here. Last pad. We're gonna skip the. Do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Skipping this one and going to that one. Actually, realistically, we can skip G and B as well. So I think I got that right. So we'll do 5 volt. And I'm back. Sorry about that. Neighbors are knocking on the door. Alright, we're prepping these pads here. D. Skipping G. Skipping B. Going right to E. And F. And lastly, we got K. I'm going to go ahead and attach all my wires while I'm at it. Red. Black. Blue. 
blue. Green coming to the E pad here. Clean my tip off. We got our brown coming to F. Last we got our orange coming to K. All right, all these are soldered in place. Now it's time to clean them up. Be right back. Alright, now that we got all the wires attached, this next part is most, for the most part, fairly self-explanatory. Um, our, our wires, some of them are a little bit extra in length, such as our orange wire uh, and our green wire. They both need to be trimmed down. So, <clears throat> we got this brown wire here. We can trim the orange and green wires down to the same length as the brown wire. We want it to be a little bit long because it's got to sit on top of the DVD drive. Uh, and then our blue wire is going to stay long for the time being. All I'm doing is there. Forgot to widen out. But anyway, so I trimmed my, my orange and my green on the same length as the brown uh, and these are going right over here and the QSB is labeled tells you what wires go where get zoomed in here now that I got all the wires attached it's kind of a little bit of a mess seeing it Okay, we're gonna come in here and move these wires out of the way for starters. We're gonna put just a little bit of flux on all these solder pads, B, E, F, and the five volt. I prepped the three volt earlier, didn't need to. And then, don't forget to go over here. Well, we'll get to the K in just a second. First one we're gonna do is the green wire B. Get that one knocked out of the way. So I'm just checking to make sure you guys will be able to see. And brown will be the E wire. Next we have K, which is over here. Okay, it's right there. Don't forget to put a little bit of flex paste on that. Okay, out of the way. All right. Next, we got our five volt. Uh, 
I like to keep my 5 volts as far away as possible from all the other wires just to ensure that there's minimal amount of interference between them And then we got our, br our uh, black. Black, we're just gonna tuck underneath. Damn it. Black, we're gonna tuck underneath the rest of the wires. And kind of bend it downward. And we can just solder that to the top of the audio video chassis here. You could, you could even go to one of the legs if you wanted. Just remember it's going to sit on top of the DVD drive so it's going to be up here a little bit higher. Put it right here. Seems like a good place for it. Add some flux space to the top of the audio video port. I might try this with my iron at 340, as soon as I've had it for the rest of it. Center to stick. There you have it. Our J tag is now grounded. And at this point,